Hi, it's Ed Osborne from Top40Weekly.com, and this is Music Through the Years, where I'll be covering some of the top songs and artists of each year. The Monkees' second single, I'm a Believer, was the initial number one of the year 1967, heading up a top 40 of pop records from a diverse group of genres. Interestingly, two of the most important contemporary music events that year had little to do with the top 40. The first occurred on June 2nd, when the Beatles released Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band in the U.S., which stunned the world conceptually, musically, lyrically, instrumentally, and orally. Although no tracks were pulled from Sgt. Pepper's 45s, the Beatles did release Penny Lane, back with Strawberry Fields Forever, All You Need Is Love, back with Baby or a Rich Man, and Hello Goodbye, back with I Am the Walrus. Unsurprisingly, they were all million sellers. The other musical event of note was the Monterey International Pop Music Festival, also in June. It was the public coming out of hippies and marked the beginning of the Summer of Love. Monterey saw the American Live debut of the Jimi Hendrix Experience and The Who, the first major appearance of Janis Joplin, and the breakout of R&B's Otis Redding to a mass white audience. That summer was also notable for its varied and excellent AM radio pop singles, including Groovin', Windy, Apples, Peaches, Pumpkin Pie, and Mirage. Among all this top 40 fun was the breakthrough single Light My Fire from the Doors, with literary pretensions courtesy of lead singer Jim Morrison. One of the surprise successes of the year was Ode to Billy Joe by Bobby Gentry, with her haunting tale of Billy Joe McAllister and the mystery of what occurred on Choctaw Ridge. Soul music from the Motown labels continued to do well, but the biggest R&B breakout artist was on Atlantic Records, Aretha Franklin. She delivered four smashes, the most riveting of which was her reworking of Otis Redding's Respect. Contemporary music was perched on a fence, with radio-friendly Top 40 on one side and edgier, more experimental album fare on the other. In which direction it would go was anybody's guess. I hope you enjoyed this presentation of Top 40 Weekly's Music Through the Years, the hits will keep on coming, so keep on visiting top40weekly.com for the biggest online U.S. Top 40 music archive available with detailed information on various artists and their hit songs. Thanks for viewing.